At the start of Eclipse, um, Bella and Jacob are friends because Edward has now proposed to Bella, which uh, hurt Jacob a lot. And uh, once again, as, as we get deeper into the film and the story, uh, Jacob and Bella start to, you know, reconnect again. So I like to think of Eclipse as the height of the love triangle. Bella is the reason that Victoria's mate, James, was killed in the first movie. And now Victoria is looking for revenge and she's going straight after Bella. And it is Edward and Jacob's job to team up and protect Bella. In New Moon, Jacob's, Jacob's view of Edward, I mean, he, he hated Edward with a passion. He hated him. And now in Eclipse, when he's forced to team up with Edward to protect Bella, it, it forces him to, you know, get to know Edward a little more and what's going on in his mind. And uh, the scene, the scene is the, the tent scene. And that's where Jacob and Edward have a heart-to-heart -heart talk while Bella is supposedly sleeping. And um, I realize, which I think this is completely fair, that Edward gets to read my thoughts. So he understands everything that's going on inside of my head, but I have no idea what's going inside this other dude's head. So I ask him to let me in. I'm like, look, if you can pick through my brain, then you better let me pick through yours. Sam is the alpha male. He's the head honcho. But what's funny is I actually, I explained this to Bella as well. Jacob turned down being alpha male. It's a lineage thing. And Jacob, uh, Jacob turned that down and handed, handed the throne over to Sam. So Sam now is our alpha male. And then you got Jacob. You got, uh, you got Paul, who's uh, the hothead. That's what we like to call him. Jared, who is more of the funny guy. He's played by Bronson, and Bronson's a total jokester, prankster. Uh, so, I mean, that's perfect. Um, and then Embry and Quill, Jacob's best friends, who are always there for him, always, like, right, right by him. We have a new director, David Slade. Um, I think it's awesome that w us actors have the opportunity to work on the same story with the same actors and yet work with a different director and be able to mold to their different styles. Um, it's, it's very awesome for us. I'm so thankful we have that opportunity. Um, but it's interesting, you know, when you have a new director come on board and but the whole, the whole team behind or in front of the camera um, is the same. Considering we're at war, Victoria's looking for revenge, we got werewolves and vampires fully involved now. I think this film is definitely going to be darker. And there's not a better choice out there than David Slade for that.